some mini product reviews and I've always wanted to have a series on my channel with a cute name, but I am so mad about thinking those up. So I went onto Facebook and I asked you all for suggestions and a viewer named Ellen said product snapshots. And I love that because I like taking pictures and that's basically what these reviews are gonna be. Just a little snapshot of the product, some information about it, some swatches and just my thoughts. If I'm happy with it, if I'm not, if there's something I wish I could change about it. So for this first installment, I'm gonna be reviewing the NARS Audacious Lipsticks, a newish product from Josie Marin and the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the best, and that is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. They are a very fancy lipstick with a very fancy price tag. They're $32 each. I love the packaging. It's really sleek, and it does have a magnetic closure, and they kind of, if you can get them lined up, they kind of join together, so they look really pretty on your desktop. I usually prefer a more creamy lipstick, something really creamy and shiny, but sometimes you need a true lipstick, something that is going to apply and set and that you don't have to worry about. And I think the Audacious lipsticks are really long wearing. They're full of pigment, so it is a true one swipe color. They go on really nice, um, very smooth and creamy, but after a while I find that they set to a more matte look. They're incredibly long wearing and they wear off evenly, which is a huge deal for me with lipsticks. And they're not really moisturizing. I don't find that they add any moisture to my lips, but they don't dry them out. I have three that I'm gonna try on for you. The first is Charlotte, and this is the only one I've been a little bit, not really disappointed in, just kind of confused by, because it's described as a burgundy and it looks very burgundy in the bullet, but every time I apply it, it comes off a little bit more cool tone fuchsia on me, which is not bad. It's still a beautiful color, but it's not the burgundy I was expecting. My number one favorite and the one I'm currently wearing is Vivian. This is a plum berry and I love this shade so much and I find it to be really appropriate no matter what I'm doing. As soon as I'm done filming, I'm actually going to a work event and I know that this is going to last even though I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking. Vivian is an exclusive to Barney's and NARS. So you can't find this one at Sephora. And then my most recent audacious purchase is Fanny and this is in that same berry category that Vivian is but this is a much brighter berry. I think if I asked you guys what my favorite brands at Sephora are, a lot of you would say Josie Marin, and I love Josie Marin, and every time they have a new release, I get really excited. And one of their newest color releases are these new lip stains. They're the Coconut Watercolor Lip Stain and Shine, and they are $22, and they claim to be 14-hour wear lip stain and gloss with hydrating coconut water and argan oil. And out of all my Josie Marin collection, for some reason, out of every product, I love the shade Honey, especially in the coconut watercolor eyeshadows and that argan creamy oil. I love the Honey shade, so I got the Honey shade in this. And I had to say that the color is beautiful, but the lip stain side is so dry, and I really have to go over my lips again and again and again, and the color is really sheer, and it just kind of has to tug at my lips. So I wasn't that enthused about that. And then the lip gloss side, while the color is beautiful, Beautiful and I find it really flattering, just a great everyday shade. It has a unpleasant scent, at least to me. And I actually, I read a lot of the reviews on Sephora.com and no one mentions it, but it smells very plasticky to me, which I think is funny because most of Josie Marin's products smell really good. So the lip gloss side is nice. I guess I do find it lightly moisturizing. It is a more of a thick lip gloss and just slightly tacky. When I bought Honeymoon Honey, I bought one other shade. This is Berry Bliss, and I actually have the exact opposite experience with Berry Bliss. This lip stain is super pigmented, and it is incredibly dark, much darker than I thought I was getting when, you know, just by looking at the packaging. My issue with this one is, and it's something I don't, it doesn't, I don't experience a lot, and that's feathering. So this bleeds outside my lip line, which is not good. And when Berry Bliss wears off, it leaves products in the little cracks in my lips. So it's just not very pretty as it wears off. So I do think that some people really like these. They have good reviews on Sephora.com, but I wasn't wowed, so I wouldn't purchase any more shades. Last but not least, I have the Kat Von D Interstellar Palette. This is $46 for 12 eyeshadows, and I fell in love with the Monarch Palette. I think I bought that one back in the fall. That one is a home run. I love every single shadow in that palette. So when I saw they came out with one that was a little bit more cool toned, I thought this would be nice to have so I could switch between the both of them. They're calling this one Cosmic Color. So it is a little bit of a space theme. It is neutral, but it's a little bit more special. There's some purples and taupes. I just loved how this palette it looked. The quality of this palette is really nice. Not as nice as the Monarch palette. This one has some dry shades. The deep 
gray and then the deep purple are a little bit dry and hard to blend. The deep purple is not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, but I can layer it with something else like the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow, the kind of purpley lavender one, and put this dark purple on top, and that is really pretty. But this palette has some amazing colors. I love both of the matte browns. They're a little bit more plummy, and I find them to be really flattering. And then my favorite color from this palette is the shimmery brown that is so beautiful it's kind of can be one of those one and done shadows where you can put it all over the lid and then buff it up into the crease I also like the silver and then out of the highlight shades so the ones in the bigger pan the lavender one with some iridescent is gorgeous and if you watch my get ready with me for a work holiday party I put that lavender highlight in my inner corner and blended it in it just made the look a little bit special I was also wearing this in my planner video and I was actually filming that right before I was getting ready to go to work so I wanted to do something very matte and work appropriate so you can accomplish that with the interstellar palette and then in my I can't even remember what I named it, like winter wardrobe essential, something like that. That was filmed on the weekend where I was having a little bit more fun and I put the silver shade all over my lid and then really deepened up the outside corner. So I think this palette is really versatile. That's my first product snapshot and I hope you found this information helpful if you were thinking about buying any of these. And if you have any of the NARS Audacious lipsticks, I would love to know what your favorite shade is. And if you have a recommendation for a product you would like to see reviewed in the future, please leave that down below. But that is all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.